May I begin by congratulating President Clinton on receiving the Democratic Leadership Award of the club. I would also like to congratulate the club for all that it has been able to achieve during its conference. I have not been there, so I can't say exactly what it has been able to achieve, but I am sure that the discussions were fruitful and will be most useful to all of us who wake to, want to make our world a better place for human beings. The annual conference, I understand, is devoted to exploring ways and means by which ordinary citizens may be able to take a greater and more useful part in the running of their own countries. This is what we all want, because that, after all, is what democracy means, that ordinary citizens should be able to decide what the destiny of their countries should be. The members of the club who have been the heads of states and governments will know better than most people the difficulties of coping with new situations as our world becomes more and more globalized. The technical, technological revolution has had many positive results, but we also have to be aware of the possible dangers. While the process of globalization means that we can be in better contact with one another, and that we can achieve greater understanding. It has also meant polarization. I am sure many of us are aware of the fact that the internet, while it can bring together people together, has also resulted in peoples of the same opinions sticking together. That is not the same thing as coming together. A coming together means opening up to different ways of thinking, to different ways of approaching problems. But sticking together means defending your own opinions and your own way of looking at things against other people's ways of seeing things. This will not make for harmony in our world. So while there are many things to be said about the practical aspects of the technological revolution, I would like to concentrate on the human aspect. I would like us to be sure that we are making use of new technologies to bring the human race together, to bring more harmony to all of us, and not to create greater divisions, not to divide us into groups, all with their own vested interests, all at loggerheads with one another. Of course, I'm really overstating the situation. But it is just as well that we be aware of possible dangers if we are to avoid them. And it is people like the members of this club who will be in the best position to find out how we can av avoid those dangers. With your experience and with all that you have been achieved for your own countries, I'm sure you will be able to help countries like Burma who are on the verge of trying to realize their hopes and dreams, go forward along the road to freedom, to prosperity, and most important of all, to peace. We all want peace, peace, not just in our own countries, but in this world. And I hope very much that your conference will have come up with the answers to how we can best make the technological revolution an instrument for peace. I thank you all and I look forward to the day when you can come to Burma and see for yourself how we have been progressing along our, our road to peace and prosperity. Thank you.